So today we're going to be talking about the Riddock phenomenon. And basically what this is, is a dissociation between static stimuli, stationary stimuli, and kinetic stimuli, which is moving stimuli. So when we have statokinetic dissociation, it means you can't see a stationary stimulus, a static, but you can see a moving stimulus, a kinetic. So, for example, in a patient who has a Humphrey visual field, the dots are presented in each hemifield. And so if you have a homonymous hemianopsia on a Humphrey visual field, that is going to be static perimetry. So static perimetry are dots testing in each location, but they don't move. As opposed to kinetic perimetry, which is hard to find nowadays, but Goldman perimetry would be an example of that. So where the stimulus is moved from the non-seeing part of the field into the seeing part, and it generates isopters linking the same stimulus size test object into a, a oval that represents the hill of vision with the tip of the hill being the fovea and then the, the various rings representing different sizes of the stimuli. So these are brought in kinetically versus Humphrey where the lights are presented statically in the same location. And so literally a patient who has the Riddock phenomenon might have a left complete homonymous hemianopsia on the static perimetry and a totally normal Goldman kinetic visual field. So that dissociation between static and kinetic is a very uncommon phenomenon. It's often seen in occipital lesions where there's a dissociation in the pathways between motion-related stimuli and static relation stimuli. And so you should really be thinking about occipital type things. And so in a left homonymous hemianopsia, we'd be looking at the right occipital lobe, obviously. And so a typical patient might be an 80-year-old who has painless progressive loss of vision, has a left homonymous hemianopsia, but the MRI only shows posterior cortical atrophy. And if we do the kinetic stimuli, suddenly they can see. You're going to be tempted to say that they're not organic because they just saw in a place that you said they didn't see. But you have to recognize statokinetic dissociation, the Riddock phenomenon, could be accounting for that phenomenon where they can see a moving target but not a static target.